Bucs were told stay home for their safety. Some did. Question me, one of the top five teams in the country at some point this year. They're ranked 10th right now. They've won 10 straight to start. I feel badly South Florida, no mention in the open, but the reality is this South Florida, Memphis is the story. From Case at Priority, huge game Saturday. You'd say about that later. Quinterly Jones and Walton, the guards, Jordan, and it's only his fifth start of the year. Young blood, a big score. Reed, Knox, and then Pryor. Scored 19 in a row down the stretch for USF. He also blocked five shots, and he had five steals. Hey, it takes some time to figure out how you can be impactful, and some guys, you got to be impactful with the energy, and that's something Pryor can do. Place not rocking. It really is. And, and yes, outside, it's been tough. There's a pull-up three, young shots. Chris Youngblood, 15 a game to lead USF, and here's Quinterly again. He creates the space in their last eight. Pryor with a handle right now across the way for Jaden Reed. Reed, their freshman point guard, air mails off a 6'10 guard, is going to pull up for three. That's off the mark. Stroud kept it alive. Pryor's got it back. Pryor misses it two straight. Rebound and feeds Quinterly. Who misses from three, but Jones cleans it up. Steve, got to have faith. Nice accessory. Here's Knox. Off the heel. Second best offense in the American behind FAU statistically. They have Naquan Tomlin in the game for the first time. The defense in the American behind SMU and North Texas. A lot of blocks, a lot of steals. Youngblood, that's a tough fadeaway. Tomlin stripped by Reed. The South Florida steal, and here is the freshman at a Long Island. Jaden Reed, no good. Ashton, freshman. Jaden, the senior. Quinterly back from Walton. Around and out. I think he thought he was going to have more help. The three players to come over. For Kennesaw State with Amir Abdul Rahim. Usually this place is this place is rocking. Awesome environment. All of the Grizzlies, all of the Tigers. 20 feet. So you see if they can create a little energy, get something going. No Quinterly, no Jones. Here's Tomlin with two to shoot. This is Selton Miguel as it knocked away. The freshman Sharon Font making a play defensively. Hardaway's layup not close. Tomlin's be played. Right now, you just need some energy. Snaps it 0 for 5 drought for Memphis. South Florida is now 0 for its last nine. Pryor fighting. They scored over 100 in its last two games. First time they've done that since December 1986. Good shot, big Hardaway. Foul on a three. And what their projections are. you got to run your own race. Easier said than done. Pryor back from Reed on a pick and pop. If you're Memphis. Substitution for South Florida, Walker, Knox, and Placer. Jose Placer. I think Nick Jordan's going to be real important for this group. He allows them to play small. When they get that group in there to start to pick up, like, that's not easy to do, especially the injuries he's played through. Placer from Miguel, not even close. South Florida. Start if you're Memphis, right? If, if Dandridge is going to go out, scramble to contest, everybody else has to pick up rebounding. David Jones he had four or five points in the first half, and then he just went off. 16 plus in the second, and it's a different game. Hines trying to stuff it right into the corner. This is Hardaway on the drive. A dump for Dandridge, who missed it, who followed it. Tomlin's follow is there. And if he can learn how to attack on closeout, it might not always be to score, but you become a distributor as well. Miguel around. <laughs> Miguel thought about a three, yeah, floated it in the corner instead. Hines, and he rattles home a two. Sam Hines, Jordan Walton back on the floor for Memphis. Chaz at starting five out there. Dandridge is a big size advantage on Walker and just plays. Get that call, and Dandridge is going to dominate that matchup. Knocks around Quinterly, bouncing it for Walker. Swarm by 10 years now. And was the first player Penny recruited to come to Memphis. Statistically speaking, I'm going to auction of a lot of things. And to live through that with a kid, I think we underestimate that. We don't get to do that as broadcasters. I, I envy that. 19 in their 112-86 demolition of Wichita State. Here he is again. Right-handed this time. Oh, goodness. Best. Nasser lost it again. Jones has Walton to his right. Lobs it up. Walton got hit. Keep an eye on that as Dandridge gets it back from Jordan. And Jordan got it back from a Dan. The disruption of this team. Transfer from Temple in his first year. Youngblood into Quinterly. Youngblood draws a ball conference. I think there's conferences out there like the Mountain West. They, they are a really good basketball conference. Prior turnaround missed it. He knows there's no hype around the program. He's got to build it. David 
Jones bangs home another two. He's got Jaden Reed back on the floor for Amir Abdul Rahim's Bulls. Miguel and Youngblood, their big scores. Reed throws lethal in transition so far. And three more from Jones. South Florida. Seven to shoot for Pryor. Kaysen Pryor knocks in his fifth. Stroud in the air. Got his own miss back. Jones. About a hundred different shot makes, and he finds 18 in the game for Jones. Pryor over Jones, tough two, and Pryor gets the balance. Uh, Florida Pryor took 16 by himself, and it went over Rice on Saturday. Oh, oh. Pryor trying to wall up here. That's like the idea of a makeup call. Now there's no such thing as a makeup call. Yeah, there is. Yeah, of course there is. Tomlin inside. That's too easy. For Florida struggled to get to the free throw line because they need to do more of this. Just attack matchups as opposed to trying to figure out the switch. And then you got the wrong it's offensive rebound. Good find by Walton. Aston Hardaway no from three. Tomlin gets position. Up and under again. Before Miguel. Hung up in the air, bailed out by Youngblood, finds a cutting Hines too strong. Memphis's largest halftime lead this season has been 14. They're up right now by 15 as Miguel hits a three. And way to FedEx for him. I still think Memphis has to figure out a, a way to sustain the level that they play at in terms of scoring. If they can do that consistently, you're just going to chase them the entire game. Off the Youngblood miss, Hardaway has been shot. Yes, and Hardaway. Shoot it with confidence. Miguel, line drives in it. Young, five to shoot. Young, leaning in, well defended by Youngblood with 218. And not T H I C C thing. Plus air, deep one. From just inside the logo. Program, so you just need time on the floor. Pryor, get around Jordan. Jordan does well. South Florida's 29 here in the first half. This is Miguel creating space with a dribble and drilling it. Th has that ability, but they have to be able to turn it up and just bury an opponent. You get Javon Quinterly a good hook. Sam Hines Jr., the Bulls team that's usually very balanced in terms of its scoring. Knox breaks the three. Quinterly Pryor brings it up, but maybe not against Nick Jordan. Yeah. Nick Jordan has good hands. He can play wide. He can play big. Reed around. Blood off a curl. Knocked away by Jordan. Here comes Memphis on the run. Quinterly, Jordan by a high flying Kobe Knox. Pryor's open in the corner, wants another opportunity, and hits his second three of the getting yourself into foul trouble constantly. Jordan way up in the air. Pryor shuffled in the feet, got it out for three to Kobe. And start to dictate the game a little bit more. Reed. Out for Stroud at three. That's a big one. You play Memphis and you play FAU, you're playing with house money. Winterly floats it, Dandridge with another Memphis offensive rebound, Malcolm. Good physical play, I mean, there's really not an answer for Malcolm Dandridge. Jones stripped it away, Pryor gets it back, Pryor is hit hard by Tiger. South Florida trying to get this within single digits, Reed, no, Pryor's hanging on the rim, and so Doug Shouse is going to back from 12 down in the second half to win. They're trying to come back from 15 down in the second half tonight. Quinterly gets around Pryor. Size here on Jaden Hardaway. One on one of the paint. Pryor too strong. Offensive rebound is there. It can only be one Highlander, however. Reed sets up a three for Knox. The lead is 11 for the 10th ranked team of the country. Memphis, winners of 10 straight. Jones crosses over, gets to. It's a lot of room, 15 to 33. Miguel. Around Jones, Miguel. Stroud, backdoor cut, Reed swings it. Youngblood, Pryor, Miguel. It ends at a 34 mark in the first half. Deep in the shot clock for Pryor. Offensive rebounding. Jones ran into a wall, throws it into trap. Reed with the first. Got in the paint, drew two defenders. That leaves Youngblood open. Fakes the three. Hits the two for Memphis and, and South Florida is dictating the way this is played. It's the closest they've been in 20 and a half minutes of game time. Walton short keeping Memphis out of transition. Good job attacking the offensive glass. Great second chance opportunities. Stroud get around Dandridge and Stroud finished. Quinterly and Young and that's a takeaway for Youngblood. He throws it away. 
couple of you know, where the ball goes, where you can attack. Just hasn't been much there. Deep one, Quinterly. Big, it. big runouts if you're Memphis, but South Florida again capitalizing on space. Reed got up in the air. Miguel with a deep one. Man. Answer. Miguel, who's at 47% on the year, has upped that number. Tomlin cuts inside with those long steps. Missed with the offense. Very well for USF. Now Pryor will operate. Five to shoot. Reed. Hot puts it down to Hines. Leans in offensively this half. Jones. Isolated with Pryor. Steps inside him and scores. Possibly do it. And almost like with those Euro steps, the slower you go, the more options you have. Reed. A lot of player safety rules that's just like, look, that happens, man. Right. Well, it's not a gray area, right? This is a letter of the law, black and white. You hit him across the face, it's got to be. They cut it to just three a few moments ago here in the second half. Can they get a bucket from wow. Miguel? They sure wow. can. Feels like every shot he's taken is going in. 11 straight double figures, mainly off the bench. Quinterly, hounded by Pryor, who commits his third foul. Lost it. Walt has it. Seven to shoot now for Walt. Crowds making sure they know it. Jordan is a key guy to be able to keep. Self Miguel, ten. Talk about his poise. That would be really big, but no. Halfway down, going against the defense that's just trying to get set. Placer, Pryor, way short. Down. Jordan has the lead. Miguel has the outlet. Placer had Miguel up top instead. Come back by South Florida. Can they find the finishing touch? Quinterly. He is the closer for Daquan Walton, who has not scored after a 23-point Sunday. Walton's going to drive in anyway. Get to, to David Jones and Javon Quinterly. South Miguel leading with 23 for South Florida. Miguel. The stagnation in this offense in the second half when they've gone zone has been remarkable. Jones around it out for three. All down to the wire. And they're down to the wire again with South Florida. David Jones, the leading scorer in the game, is fouled, as was duly noted. I just looked down at his plus minus. He was plus 12. Nobody would have remembered if he hadn't brought up. Breyer one for two. Sustain defended him well. Deep in the shot clock, it's Reed. It's still Reed. Left handed, wow. he ties it. The back and have a chance to win it on the road at Memphis. South Florida has the lead. This year, he does not do it again. An absolute stop. You just can't predict. You look at the first half and you say, this thing's really over.